welcome to CN Arsenal Clips, where we share facts or factoids from our main series in more digestible segments. Now, this time, I'm here with two classic firearms, Colt 1911 and this Webley self-loader. These are both from the World War I era, and I'm going to suggest that both combine to form what is now the most common type of pistol locking action. This is a 1911 pistol, specifically made by the Springfield Armory, but what we care about is how it works. So if I open this up, we'll see that our barrel has tilted slightly, and we've disengaged a set of locking lugs that are inside the slide. Let's get a look at those. So here's our lugs on top of the barrel and a matching set of grooves inside the slide. When they're together, The slide and barrel will stay locked together as long as the barrel's rear end is up. And if the barrel's rear end is down, then it can slide independently. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock. So it's not a lot of tip, but it's some tip. And of course that's caused by this hinge point here, which in this case is actually on a pinned link. Although later on in the future, we tend to see these as solid cams. This is the Webley self-loading pistol. And it also uses a well, sort of tipping barrel, it actually cams downward, and that barrel locks on the very large ejection port. So, uh, if you watch for a second, you'll actually be able to see this, although, I'm trying to do this for the camera, see it drop just a little bit, up, down, up, down to unlock. That's how it stays locked to the slide. With the gun partially stripped, we can see how the Webley does its job. It actually uses a set of lugs and raceways in order to guide the bolt up and forward or down and rearward. But notice this square cut top. That's what locks on the ejection port right here, square to square. Well, rectangle to rectangle, but you get the idea. This Steyr L9A2 is indicative of many modern pistols in that it uses a hybridization of both of the locks we've seen. The barrel is locked to the slide through the ejection port. That is the locking surface. There's no lugs underneath. And our barrel is definitely tips just a little bit upwards like the Browning. Looking closer, we'll see Browning's swiveling link has been replaced with a hard cam. And at the top, we definitely still have the Webley rectangular cut. I mean, that's, that's just, that's a rectangle. It fits in another rectangle, perfect. Now we all know that the 1911 was done by John Browning, but a lot of you might not know that the Webley was a design by William John Whiting. So when you think of a modern pistol lock, instead of saying it's a Browning action, we might be saying that it's a Browning Whiting action. Hmm. Now, if you'd like to know more about these particular handguns, uh, we already have an episode out about the Webley. And as of the time I'm filling this, I'm not sure if we've done the 1911 yet or not, although it is on the way as I'm recording this. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys had an enjoyable time.